সুপ্রিয় দর্শক আসসালামু আলাইকুম আশা করি সবাই ভালো আছেন বাংলাদেশ আজ বিশ্বের বিষয় এশিয়ার প্রায় প্রতিটি দেশ বাংলাদেশের এই অর্থনৈতিক উন্নয়ন দেখে অবাক পার্শ্ববর্তী দেশ ভারতও এর ব্যতিক্রম নয় কিছুদিন আগে একজন ভারতীয় অর্থনীতিবিদ বলেন আসাম এবং পশ্চিম বাংলার থেকে বাংলাদেশের অর্থনীতি অনেক শক্তিশালী তা তাহলে কেন বাংলাদেশিরা তাদের দেশ ত্যাগ করবে বাংলা সাবটাইটেল সহ ভিডিওটি চলুন দেখে আসি ভিডিওটি শুরু করার আগে ছোট্ট একটি অনুরোধ আপনি যদি বিডিটিউ চ্যানেলে আজ প্রথম হয়ে থাকেন তাহলে অবশ্যই চ্যানেলটিকে সাবস্ক্রাইব করে নেবেন আর আপনি যদি ইতিমধ্যে সাবস্ক্রাইব করে থাকেন তাহলে আপনাকে অসংখ্য ধন্যবাদ আর আমাদের এই ভিডিওগুলো ফেসবুকে দেখতে চাইলে ডিসক্রিপশন বক্সে দেওয়ার লিঙ্ক ফলো করে আমাদের পেজটিতে লাইক দিয়ে রাখুন our debate over NRC and CAB has had on India-Bangladesh relations. So two things happened today. One, Bangladesh's foreign minister, A.K. Abdul Momin, who was to come to Delhi for what is called as Delhi Dialogue. It's a very prestigious it conference. It's again the corner. He organizes RMEA. Uh, he cancelled, saying that he's preoccupied, which obviously was interpreted as uh, he's being uncomfortable because of what's going on in parliament. And second, Bangladesh's Home Minister, that is Asadu Zaman Khan, uh, who was to come to Shillong to attend what is called the Freedom Fighters Welfare Trust meeting. Why? Because two days from now is the victory day of 1971 war, the day on which Bangladesh was created 48 years ago. So he was, he was to come for that commemoration. Now this is problematic. Uh, why? Because Bangladesh is India's second most important neighbor in the subcontinent. And if you look at the friendliness index, it is the most important neighbor in this subcontinent. Other thing is, this whole idea, and I'll give you some figures now, so sort of fast and seat belts, some figures will tell you that this idea that India is a super it first important world country that conquered the world, right? And Bangladesh is a really giza, bera, mara, gera, some seventh world country. And so all the Bangladeshis want to leave Bangladesh and come into India. This is a complete fallacy. So I will quote figures to you to show you that on many key indicators, Bangladesh is actually ahead of India right now. Beginning with GDP growth rate, Bangladesh's growth rate at this point is 8.1, India is 4.5. It right? even if India is 5, which, will be, which is optimistic, Bangladesh will finish upwards of 8. And this has not happened suddenly. Bangladesh's growth rate has been rising, 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 rising and many other indicators also. So this idea that many Bangladeshis constantly want to leave their country and come to India is wrong. In fact, Bangladesh High Commissioner said this in an interview to the Hindu the other day, that people of my country, if they want to leave, would rather jump in the ocean and swim to Italy. Italy seems to be the favorite destination that Bangladeshis have in Europe. In fact, if you go to Italy, if you go to the Vatican also, you find lots of Bangladeshis selling things uh, on the street uh, there. Then come to India, he said. Because why should they come to India? There is a difference. What is the benefit they get in India? So to think that Bangladeshis want to leave and come to India is wrong. And I will now show you figures uh, to prove why that is the case. If you look at Bangladesh's uh, economy, GDP, it is one-tenth of India's. But Bangladesh's pop population is also one-eighth of India's. Per capita GDP in India is a little bit higher than Bangladesh. It's about 2100. Bangladesh is about is exactly $17.88. Ebola so India is about 20% ahead of Bangladesh right now, but at this point, at these growth rates, the gap is closing. But Bangladesh is $17.88 per capita income is much higher than Assam's $1,100. So why would Bangladeshis read Assam, leave their country and come to Assam? And it is about the same as West Bengal. So once again, like water finds its level, economic logic, immigration finds its level, level based on economics. So economics is the water of immigration. So there is no imbalance there to create some kind of a flow of population from Bangladesh into India. And once again, since all of us love Pakistan so much, you can check Pakistan's per capita income at this point is just about 1400 crore. So Bangladesh has left, uh, $1,400. So Bangladesh has left Pakistan way behind. In 1971, it was seen as the basket case, and West Pakistan was 
bustling. It's a great success story. Then you go ahead and you, you can look at more things. Life expectancy. India is 69, Bangladesh is 72.5. Remember, Pakistan is 67. Left behind, way behind Bangladesh. Female labor participation. India 27.2%, Bangladesh 33%. So that defies one more of these Islamist uh, stereotypes that women's status in Islamic countries or countries with large Islamic populations is lower. So let me come to birth rates. Uh, India has taken great strides in controlling or reducing its birth rate. So India now has 20.2 babies born per thousand women in a year. What does Bangladesh have? It has 18. So it's 10 percentage points lower than India's. Look at Pakistan because you make comparisons. Pakistan at this point is 29.8. So it is almost, it's almost 60, 70 percent higher than Bangladesh. So Bangladesh is raised way ahead in this area. Look at infant mortality. That's even more striking. Bangladesh is 31.7 per thousand live births. That means a thousand, every thousand babies delivered live, 31.7 die. Say about 32 die. For India, the number is 41. India has improved a great deal, but it is still much worse than Bangladesh's. What is Pakistan? Again, the country that was much richer and much more powerful, the population that was much more advanced than Bangladesh's, than East Pakistan's. Pakistan is 53.86%, way behind Bangladesh. It's, if you go back to 1960, Pakistan's fertility rate, that is number of babies produced per woman in a lifetime was 6.6. 6.6 babies were produced by an average woman in Pakistan in a lifetime. It was the same for East Pakistan as well, 6.6. For India, it was 5.9, a bit lower, but still quite high. See what progress has each country made in 60 years. In 60 years, India has come from 5.9 to 2.33. Almost one third, but not quite one third, uh, uh, but quite impressive. Bangladesh has come from 6.6 .6 to 2.1. That is less than one third. It is remarkable that one part of a country which had 6.6 .6 had this much. And what has the other part done? What has West Pakistan done? West Pakistan has also made progress, but it has come to 3.48%. That is one and a half times higher than Bangladesh. So this is a kind of situation that we are talking about, even on global hunger index, India is 102, Bangladesh is 88. We had spoken about in the cut the uh, about uh, uh, hunger index. Video T Shishmundo Dekarjuno Oshis Tunobad. Video T Bhaulagle Oshaki like the Ben or comment code Janiadin Apnar Muloban Motamot. Apnar Chotti like ba comment Amadir Kase onek Muloban. Canona Eta Yamadir Potochalar Onuperona. Video T Apnar Facebook Evon Onano Social Media शेयर करे उन्नत देखा शुरू करे दिन आपना छोटे एक टी शेयर है होय तो अनेक ये जन्मे बांग्लादेश के पॉजिटिव न्यूज़ गुलो तो देखा होते पौरे वीडियो ते शेयर पर जन तो शोभाई भलो थक बैन सुस्त थक बैन आर बीडीटी उबेर शाथे ही थक बैन